intimidation, fear, or force. When you have confidence we will meet this burden, which we will, by asking you to follow the evidence for our trial. From the duffel bag, to the money, to the green vase that shattered evidence. First, you'll follow the testimony of Corporal Alex Epps, a K-9 officer with the military police. Corporal Alex Epps pulled the defendant over after he was leaving Ken Wheeler House. You will learn that Corporal Alex Epps searched the defendant's vehicle. You will be able to follow the evidence, the duffel bag, and the money. From Ken Wheeler's home to the backseat of the defendant's trunk, uncovered by Corporal Alex Epps during the search. Next, you'll hear from Detective Box Bolton, an investigator with the Millville Police Detective Boulder will tell you what really happened on April 14th when he found shards in the defendant's office. Listen carefully as he tells you that the evidence at the burglary places the defendants at the home of Kendall Wheeler. And today, you'll meet Mr. Lee, the local business owner in Millville. Mr. Leland will tell you what really happened on April 14th after the defendant's threats. Listen carefully, as Mr. Leland tells you that a green bay shattered everywhere on April 14th, on the defendant and the defendant's clothes. And when you follow the evidence, those same green shards were found in the back of Corporal Alex's trophy, connecting the defendant to the burglar. Members <coughs> of the jury were not asking that you guess or assume what happened throughout our trial today. You asked that you follow the evidence from the duffel bag, to the money, to the green base that shattered everything. At the close of evidence, my co-counsel, Ms. Anna Davis, will return before you with a closing argument. She will remind you that when you follow the evidence, all trails lead back to the defendant. We ask that you return with the only true verdict in this case, a verdict of guilty on all counts. Thank you.